Bonjour et bienvenue, c'est la Modelise and I am so glad that you are back here in my channel. For today's tutorial, we are going to learn the rose drape sleeve which is trending right now. This sleeve is heavily inspired from Alexander McQueen 2019 collection. If you didn't know, the rose sleeve design is heavily inspired by the 2019 collection from the house of Alexander McQueen. This sleeve gained popularity because of its romantic touch and uniqueness. And now, I am going to demonstrate how to draft the pattern and how to sew this masterpiece. So let's get this tutorial started. To begin, prepare your basic set in sleeve sloper without a dart. And trace your sleeve sloper on your paper. This is for the lining. And put your desired sewing allowance on your sleeve and cut the pattern out from your paper. And set aside your lining pattern. And on a different pattern paper, trace your basic set in sleeve sloper. But this time, we are tracing the sloper for the shell of the rose sleeve. Same with the lining, put your desired sewing allowance for the shell pattern. And cut the shell pattern out from your paper. And label the front and back areas of the sleeve. Next, cut through the center line of the sleeve making two pieces. One piece for the front sleeve and one piece for the back sleeve. Next, prepare a sufficient amount of pattern paper and place the front sleeve at the right hand side of the paper and tape the front sleeve in place. Next, from the center line at elbow level, square out a line extending the elbow level approximately 30 inches. And from the center line at the extended elbow level, mark out 20 inches. And square a line connecting these marks. Next, from the sleeve cap at the center line, square out a diagonal line towards the angle at elbow level. Creating a 45 degree diagonal line. Next, put your desired sewing allowance at the extended elbow level and also at the center line until the hemline. Since we drafted the diagonal line from the sleeve cap with 2 eighths of an inch of sewing allowance, it is no longer needed to apply any sewing allowance on this line. After putting your sewing allowance, you can now cut your pattern out from your paper. And draw the gray line indication at the 45 degree diagonal line, as shown. This is the front sleeve pattern, and this is the back sleeve pattern. To cut the pattern on your fabric, make it sure to place it on the green line of your fabric. This makes the pattern being cut on bias. And do the same procedure for the back sleeve. Next, face both front and back sleeves from right side to right side together and sew the seams according to your sewing allowances. Next, 
and snip the excess sewing allowance right exactly at the angle to ease the tension. Next, press all of the seams open. And turn the sleeve from inside out. And press the right side of the sleeve for a clean finish. And as you can see, there's a triangular shape at the center of the sleeve. Next, fold this triangular shape inwards, creating pleats or folds for the sleeve. Folding this triangular shape may take you a while, but patience is really needed to get the rows, folds, or pleats for the sleeve. This is like sculpturing or molding to get the right shape and folds. Once you are satisfied, pin to secure the pleats or the folds in place. Next, cut your lining pattern on the same fabric you use for the shell. And place the lining and the shell from right side to right side together. And pin at the hemlines in preparation for sewing. Next, sew the hemlines according to your sewing allowance. And press the seams open for a clean finish. Next, pin the shell and the lining together like so. And sew the outline of the sleeve combining both shell and lining together. Next, do several tuck stitches by hand to secure the pleats or the folds. This will ensure that the pleats or folds will stay in place. And lastly, sew the underarm side seams off the sleeve. Et voilà, so this is my row sleeve mock-up on different angles. And as you can see, I have achieved the rose design or rose effect on the sleeve. Anyway guys, I hope this tutorial gave you enough tips on how to draft and how to sew the rose sleeve design. And if you have any questions, please do not hesitate to comment down below and I will reply as soon as possible. And if you like this video, please give it a huge thumbs up. And if you super like this video, please give me a super thanks. And if you're not subscribed yet to my YouTube channel, La Modelis, make it sure to hit that subscribe button. And I will see you guys again on the part 2 of this tutorial. A bientôt!